Drop bar road bikes have a huge range these days, from the ultralight, ultra nimble road race machines to the big, burly adventure gravel bikes. And straight up the middle is the new Envy Fray, which also happens to sit squarely in the middle of Envy's line, which has the melee road race bike on one end, the MOG gravel bike on the other end, and this is what we used to call an endurance bike, now many call an all-road bike. And the tire clearance is what not too long ago, say a year ago, we'd call gravel bike territory, which takes up to a 40 millimeter tire. This bike is designed for something in the 31 to 35 millimeter range, happy on dirt. I'm taking this bike along with some friends and some good folks from Envy from here in lovely San Francisco. We're up in Mill Valley, just north of the bay, riding down the coast to Monterey for the Sea Otter Classic, a bicycle festival that's been going on for quite some time. Come along for the ride. Starting out today from the lovely town of Sausalito, just north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Not a bad way to start a ride. Thanks for putting it together, Chris. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. So Chris Lyman here has been the Pied Piper of the ride on Sea Otter, ride to Sea Otter for a few years. Develops quite a following. Check it out. So we've got a few folks from Envy, notably Jake Pantone, Neil Shirley, two of the guys driving a lot of the product design over the years. Got our man, David Arthur, the big boy YouTuber, who I just did a little Taipei adventure with just a few weeks ago. Got Alvin and Will from Velo and outside. And then some locals joining us for the ride down. Yesterday we did a shakeout ride, taking in some dirt and some hills in the headlands just north of the Bay Bridge. That was a good taste for the capability of the bike and big fat squishy tires. I nearly put myself on the ground a couple times trying to fall. New machine surely at speed. Today's an all paved affair. Envy stacked the deck a bit here, putting some swanky three fours on the bike and again with 35 mil tires just soaking up auto bumps it feels pretty plush speaking of stacking the deck any ride that has this for a backdrop hard to feel blue about the equipment
right, we're in lovely Carmel now, 144 miles south of Mill Valley, where the day started. The fray was a treat. We were, there was eight to 10 of us throughout the day. We had a tailwind for most of the day, uh, a bit of a crosswind, enough to you know, certainly feel the, the buffeting on these three fours. I'm a fan of the two depth wheels, like a little shallower in the front, a little bigger in the back, uh, just because the, you know, the deeper the wheel, yes, the faster it is, but the more you have to, to fight it when there's crosswind. So the three, four, the four fives are, you know, a good happy place for me. Things I loved, things I would maybe change a bit. And then third, uh, answers to questions y'all ask. I put a post up on Instagram when this came out saying, hey, I'm gonna be doing this ride. Let me know your questions and I'll answer them in this video. So we'll get to those at the end. So things I loved, just the general fit and feel of a bike the all road bike endurance what we used to call endurance i think is a is a great all-around bike for general riding the stack and reach is something where that just you know depends on who you are and, and what fits you well this guy is two centimeters taller not entirely here it's also like a little bit more uh, bottom bracket drop than the melee the race bike but you know that's that's been the basic formula for endurance slash all-road bikes for years is it's just a little bit higher having contact points that work for you that's you know more than half the ball game and the new indy bar with the now older shram red was you know perfectly cozy having a bit of flair you know we used to think of that as a gravel thing but that's that's a good natural fit Big fat tires. I appreciated them and was also a little irritated by them. What I appreciated was, you know, particularly early in the morning when we were rolling through San Francisco, the roads are kind of rough. There's a lot of, uh, you know, traffic and inputs to be paying attention to and you're not necessarily looking at all the holes in the road or things in the road. Having tires that just soak up all that uh, chatter and noise make for a lowered shoulder, more relaxed ride than, you know, riding on a skinny race tire. So there, that was generally a positive thing. It's a, it's a whole lot of rubber, you know, these are 35s. So for a 144 mile day, you know, if I would set up the perfect setup, it would probably be a little bit less rubber, but it's certainly not like a mountain bike tire or even a, a gravel tire by any stretch. The Envy tires are still made by Tufo, which tests pretty well in bicyclerollingresistance.com. Just not my favorite thing. There's things I love about Envy, particularly, you know, it's been the wheels for a long time and, and cockpits and such. The tires, not, not my favorite. Endurance slash all road bikes with 40 mil of clearance. That's on trend. It's not just the fray. We saw the new BMC road machine come out recently. 40 mil clearance. The Irish brand 51's new Sika looks every bit the sexy carbon road race bike with, you know, the integrated one piece cockpit like this. Also 40 mils. A certain bicycle you're familiar with. Stop beeping at me. The Specialized S-Works Roubaix SL8, 40 mil plus, you know, some of the travel up front with the future shock, you know, on and on. So it's not the standard, but it's, you know, certainly a, a new trend of endurance slash all-road bikes having what used to be gravel tire clearance. What do big tires do? A couple things. They smooth out the ride for sure, make it a little heavier, you know, add a little aero drag. Up front, the bigger it gets, the more trail you have and the uh, effectively the slacker the bike feels, which makes sense, like the bigger the tire, uh, the more stable the ride you want. Out back, it means you're gonna get slightly longer chain stays. And for this bike, if you're going to the 40 mil, you can't run a derailleur. So like everything on a bicycle, it's a balancing act, right? You push, push one thing too far, it's gonna affect other things. So 38 is the biggest you can go if you want two rings on a bicycle. Now we'll get to your questions and hopefully I can answer these things. One, do the internal cables and headset make noise on bad roads? No, that's a plus. The first Envy bicycle, I have the custom road. The brake hoses did rattle. Uh, that was an easy fix, just put some foam inside there. That was, I don't know, one of the first dozen or so bikes coming out of Envy, so that was, I don't want to say a trial run, but that was early on. So that's long been addressed. Inside the down tube, there's a, the you know, hoses obviously run through the down tube and there's a Velcro patch so you can have access 
to the hoses, but they're not thwacking around in there and then you've got two separate bags. So answer, no. Hoses don't rattle around inside the frame. Question number two, how do you find the more upright Geo? The higher stack on this and even the Melee seems like the only drawback. That's a personal thing, right? Like <laughs> your fit, my fit uh, will vary. It is slightly higher than my custom road, um, but that's one thing that like, it helps to at least look at the geo chart, or if not, you know, test a bike at your local shop. But yeah, it is two centimeter taller than the Melee race bike. Three, down tube storage. Yes, there's down tube storage. <laughs> For a road only bike, never put more than 32s on it, what would make more sense? A slammed fray or a Melee with 10 to 15 mil of spacers? If you're not going bigger than a 32, I'd say the Melee, but it depends on you know, how you like a bike to feel. The Melee is a little bit steeper. You know, this is like 72 inch change head tube. The Melee is 73 inch change, but yeah, you're right on edge, and so it would be dependent on your preference. I would, if I was going 32 as the top end, and I would go with Melee. Seems like a fun bike. Can you run a non Envy Barn stem with external routing without it looking like a bodge? No. Yes, you could run hoses outside, but yes, it would absolutely look like a bodge because there's, there's no stops or like it's designed to be run internal. So you could run a different style of internal cockpit. Or you could run you could run it externally and like electric tape the hose to the frame. So technically yes, but no, don't do that. Don't do that. What happens if you run say 28s for a fast smooth ride? Any material impact? No, not a material impact. It would you know affect the trail. It would tighten up the trail. Um, you'd get a little bit lower to the ground. You know, we're talking millimeters. Uh, maybe it maybe a centimeter uh, if you're coming from like the, the top end 40 down to a 28 it would change the handling slightly but the you know the bike's designed around like a 30 to 35 is like the sweet spot how does the long wheelbase feel when on smooth roads where it is less essential i've got to say i didn't feel the the wheelbase as a drag on fast smooth roads so much as like the big old tires and like a slightly slower steering the bike still accelerates like rob smallman's holding the camera right now thank you rob rob and i were sprinting for <laughs> sprinting for the city limit signs as you do on a ride and yeah rob beat me a few times but, but was it because the bike had a centimeter longer wheelbase uh no um i think the the tires the bigger tires is a more noticeable thing if you're testing a straight ahead road race bike getting onto this i think you'd feel that more than the the wheelbase second would be the handling and then maybe third would be the the extra re extra wheelbase on the back end is it too stiff is 40 millimeters enough i don't think it's too stiff and i think 40 miller 40 millimeters 40 millimeters is good and plenty uh as i was saying like for a road ride today even some rougher roads these felt good and plenty so it's nice to have options right yesterday we did a, a shakeout ride of sorts a rowdy beautiful gorgeous shakeout ride in the Marin headlands uh, that I've ridden before but only on a gravel bike and so yeah it's good to have options whether it's gearing or tires um, and for an all-road bike I think 40 millimeters is plenty few more questions and then I'll let Rob get to his dinner. See, you can just buy it as a chassis. How would you equip it? So the chassis, things are becoming uh, more and more integrated. Like once upon a time you buy a frame and then you'd buy a, a look fork and then you'd buy a seat post. Now the, the Envy chassis consists of yes, frame, fork, seat post, and cockpit. Um, a bike like this probably if I would put Envy wheels on I would put different tires on maybe some Vittoria Corsas 30s 32s I think those are sweet delicious tires the cockpit I'm happy with um, and then I, I'm a two by guy I like having plenty of rope on both ends and then 
you know, it's good to have tire options. A lot of people have asked, hey, what gravel bike works best as a road bike? What road bike works best as a gravel bike? I think the op the answer there for a lot of folks is to have a bike that sits in the middle. Like if you want one bike to do a lot of things, getting a road race bike and expecting it to be a gravel bike or conversely getting a gravel bike and expecting it to feel like a road race bike you're going to be kind of disappointed but if you get something that's in the middle like an suv of bikes then it can do all the things pretty well two more questions one what the heck is all road do we need another category <laughs> you can call it you can call it endurance bikes if all roads seems offensive to you but the, yeah the idea is you can ride it on all the roads the smooth paved roads the rough chunky roads like out of san francisco and then you know occasionally some dirt roads so that's that's what all road is but it's in many ways just a rebrand of what we used to call endurance bikes in addition to the tire clearance you got a slightly more upright position endurance all road potato potato final question my question about that bike is can i have it Yes, for a price, you can have anything. And yes, like basically everything in Envy's lineup, uh, you will pay a pretty penny, but they are pretty bicycles. Thanks for watching, Rob. Thanks for holding the camera. If you have any other questions that I did not answer here, leave them below. I will try to answer them and we'll see you guys next time. We're heading now to Sea Otter Classic. We'll see what the latest and greatest from the rest of the bike industry is. And I'll be reporting back from Laguna Seca Raceway. Thank you.